What's up everyone, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at a few ratio word problems. So these are the two questions we're going to go through and let's get started. Alright, for this first question here, we're told that the ratio of boys to girls in a school is 11 to 10. We're also told that there are 525 students in the school, but the main question here is how many students are boys? So there are a few different ways we could go through this question. And one way would be to take this ratio of 11 to 10. And remember, we're comparing boys to girls. And one little trick we could use is to multiply each of these terms by x. So we could also say this is the ratio of 11x to 10x. Because if there's 525 students in the school, if we just did 11 plus 10, 21 students, that's not enough. So by multiplying by x, this allows us to set up the equation that there are 11x plus 10x students in total because there's 11x boys and 10x girls and remember there's 525 students in the school so then we just simplify here we get 21x equals 525 and when you solve for x divide by 21 on both sides this is going to simplify we're going to have x equals and 525 divided by 21 is going to give us 25. So x equals 25. So then how many boys are in the school? Well, the number of boys is 11 times 25. And this is going to work out to 275. So there are 275 boys. That's our final answer. And the number of girls, which isn't what we're told to find here but it's good so we could check our work that we find this as well is 10 times x which is 10 times 25 giving us 250 and now just to check when we add these numbers together we should get 525 so 275 plus 250 does in fact add up to 525 and another thing to check here is to compare these two numbers by division divide the top and bottom by 25 and this does simplify to 11 over 10 so both of these things here check out 275 is our solution to the first one so an alternate method that we could use would be to use the concept of part over whole and just know if we're trying to find the number of boys the number of boys well that's 11 is the part so remember the concept we're using is part over whole and when we use that concept here, the part is 11, and the whole would be 11 plus 10. So for every 21 students, 11 are boys, because we're told 11 boys for every 10 girls, that's 21 students in total. So out of the 21 students, 11 are boys. And if we multiply the part over whole by the total number of students, 525, that's going to tell us how many boys there are. And when we simplify this here, well, once again, 525 divided by 21 is 25. And when we multiply 11 times 25, we also get 275. So this is another method here is to write the part over whole and multiply it by the total number of students. And that'll tell you how many boys you have. All right, for this last question here, we have a basketball free throw shooting contest. And the two participants are Sam and Will. And they're telling us that for every seven shots that Sam made, Will made nine. So this is the ratio of their shots, seven to nine. And we're also told that Will made six more shots than Sam, and we want to find the number of shots made by each of them. So think really carefully about this here. So the ratio is the first thing we could write down, seven to nine. And this is comparing Sam to Will. But what they're telling us is that Will made six more shots than Sam. So if Sam made X shots, so this is like the number of shots that he made in, well then Will is going to be X plus six because he made six more. So that's plus six. So then we combine all this information. The ratio of Sam to Will is 7 over 9. 
But remember, this top part is for Sam, the bottom part is for Will, and we're also told that if Sam made X shots, Will made six more, made X plus six. So to solve this equation here, let's cross multiply. We're gonna multiply nine times X, and that's equal to seven times X plus six. But just make sure to throw the X plus six in parentheses. We have to distribute here. So then let's work this out. This is nine X equals seven X plus 42. Remember, just make sure to multiply seven by X and positive six. Now we subtract seven X on both sides. And I'll write the result over here. We have 2x equals 42. So that result from before is going here. And then divide both sides by 2. And we're told that x equals 21. So if we write all this out, this tells us that Sam made 21 shots. And Will made 6 more than that. And 21 plus 6 is 27. Now the only thing I would do here to check to make sure we did this right is I would take those values 21 over 27 and I would reduce this fraction. Divide the top and bottom by 3 and you're going to get 7 over 9. So we can see here that 27 is definitely 6 more than 21 and when we compare these two numbers by division, set up the ratio, it does in fact simplify to the ratio 7 to 9. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on solving ratio word problems. If you found this video to be helpful, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, future topics you want me to cover, leave the topics in the comments section below. And thank you for watching.